Hey everyone, it's Jeremy Techno. Welcome back to Let's Play Mario Kart 8 Blind. Yes, I am returning with this Let's Play because the Mercedes-Benz DLC has actually been released today, and I decided, why not show it off? How however, before I show off the DLC, you may notice that the main menu is changed a little bit. Let's go over the changes. Now, if we press minus, basically, there's a new thing where it shows you all your stats. So, I collected a total of 3,000 coins. Um, I have 620 wins, 685 losses. So, I have more losses than wins, but whatever. And also, it shows stuff like your favorite course, which is the course you race the most. I guess I raced at Mario Kart Stadium the most. Favorite character, vehicle, tires, glider, stuff like that. It just shows all the stats, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if this was here before, since I haven't played Mario Kart 8 in a while, but I'm pretty sure this is new. And even if it isn't, I haven't shown it off in the Let's Play yet, so I might as well. However, something that is new is the shop. Now, when you first go in here, this is how you actually get the DLC. You have to go in the shop and actually get it. However, the shop is still here because there are actually two more DLCs coming out for Mario Kart 8. The Zelda DLC and the Animal Crossing DLC. Now, if we go over here, you can see that... One of the DLCs is we get three characters, four vehicles, and eight courses for both of them. And I think this is really cool. When this DLC comes out, I'm going to get this, and I'm going to show it off, just like I'm showing off this DLC. But this is really exciting. And actually, if you want to, you can actually pre-order this right now. Um, but I'm not going to do that, because I, I don't really pre-order stuff. Maybe I will, I don't know. But as of right now, I'm not. Also... I don't think I'll be able to connect to the internet, actually, so this was probably a bad idea. Oh, come on. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, but, yeah. So if you want, you can pre-order, and when those DLCs come out, I will do an episode on this, similar to how I'm doing an episode on this. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's actually show off the DLC. So let's go to Versus Race. Um, also, the characters that are going to be in the next two DLCs are down here, in case you wanted to know. Uh, I'll be using Waluigi, and we have three vehicles and one tire. The tire um, is the GLA tires. Now, sadly, it's the same exact stats as the standard tire. So, it's just a, it's a standard tire, but it's a GLA tire, basically. So, in terms of stats, it's not that good. Now, for the three vehicles we got, we got the GLA, we got the W25 Silver Arrow, and we got the 300 SL Roadster. In terms of stats, this is the stats of the GLA, the Silver Arrow, and the Roadster. Uh, the GLA has the best weight, the Silver Arrow has the best acceleration, and I guess the Roadster is the best overall. Um... I think out of all of these, my favorite is the Silver Arrow, and both in both in terms of both design and um, st statistics. However, I'm going to show all of them off. So first, I'm going to show off the GLA with the G GLA tires, and I guess the Cloud Glider. And yeah, I'll just go into random versus race. Also, um, as you know, we're also getting tracks with the, with the next two DLCs, so they're also here as well. Uh, I guess starting off, let's just start off with the simple track Mario Kart Stadium and. Yeah, let's go. So I'm just going to do three races, and in each three races, I'm just going to show off each car. Because, well, we have three vehicles, so I'll show three of them off. And that's about it. Um, And also, this is the first time I'm using them. I actually looked up what stats they are, but I have not used them yet. So I have no idea how they control, but I'm guessing it's just any standard cars. Now, while I'm showing them off, I'm actually going to share my opinions on, on this DLC. A lot of people are a little upset about this, saying, Oh, why are there realism in Mario Kart? Oh, why is Nintendo doing this? You have to understand, this is free DLC. If you don't like it, that's fine. Either download the DLC and never use it, or just don't download it at all. You, you don't have to download it if you don't want to. And even then, it's three free cars and a tire. It's not that bad. Who cares if Nintendo is, um, you know, having some advertisements in their games? They need money too, so I think it's fine that they're doing that, you know? So calm down, guys. Personally, I think this is... I actually think this is pretty cool. Also, I am racing in 100cc. I just realized I should have probably did 150. Oh, well. I'll, I'll do that for the next two cars. I just went to anything. So I'll probably... Yeah, because I just got hit a bunch, and I'm already 
wrecking them, so I, I should probably switch 150cc when I show up the next two. But anyways, don't complain so much about Nintendo releasing DLC. Um, and anyways, we're getting two new two new DLCs, which I think is really cool. Now, um, t in terms of the two new DLCs, I'm really excited for them. Um, it's interesting about the characters we're getting. We're getting Tanuki Mario and Cat Peach, which I'm a little disappointed that it's, it's another clone thing. Not really a clone, but like we already this is going to be our third Mario and Peach. I mean, we have regular Mario. Well, no, technically fourth because we have regular Mario, we have Baby Mario, and we have Metal Mario. Now we're getting Tanuki Mario. And for Peach, we have regular Peach, we have Baby Peach, we have Pink Gold Peach, and now we're getting Cat Peach. Really? Really, Nintendo? Why are you giving us so much? As for Link, I think it's a good idea. I actually think it's really cool we're seeing Link. And then for the Animal Crossing, it's unexpected. We're getting the Villager, we're getting Isabel, and then we're getting Dry Bowser, which is surprisingly a surprise. And it's Bowser, Dry Bowser was in Mario Kart Wii, in case you, were, if you didn't know. So, I think it's a pretty good idea that he's in the DLC. Um, though, what I am disappointed with is where are the five characters that were taken out in this game? Where's Bowser Jr., Diddy Kong, Birdo, Drybones, and King Boo? My man, King Boo, man, I want him. And he's not in the game. Also, I missed Diddy Kong. Like, seriously, they should have put them in instead. <sighs> it's not that I'm disappointed with the characters, because I think it's pretty cool. Also, I got second place, but I don't really care. Um,. I think it's pretty cool that we're getting these characters, but it's a shame that we, we didn't get the five characters that were taken out. Uh, I, and I'm also excited about the vehicles, because we're actually getting the F-Zero, um, which is... Not the F-Zero, the Blue Falcon, my bad, um, which is pretty cool. And we're also getting new tracks. That's something I'm really surprised about. I mean, I, I expected DLC to come to Mario Kart 8, but I seriously thought it was only going to be characters and vehicles. I did not expect tracks, so I'm really happy we were getting four cups meaning we're getting um, 16 new tracks. That is really freaking cool. Anyways, let's now let's show off the next vehicle, which is the W25 Silver Arrow. And let's actually just use the Cyber Slick because, you know, I want Waluigi to at least be a little faster. And this time we'll do 150cc, because why not? Uh, I guess next I'll race in Mario Star because another symbol track, so why not? Um, but yeah... The, the new D two DLCs, like I said, I'm going to show off, and I'm pretty excited for them. And I wonder if Nintendo is going to release any more DLC. I think it would be really cool. Also, Nintendo, please release the five characters that were taken out. I, you don't know how badly I want to race as King Boo and Dry Bones. I mean, Bowser Jr., Diddy Kong, and Birdo I also want in there, but it's not like I'm going to race as them. But it would be cool to see them, but King Boo, man. Dry Bones, man. I want them in. If you didn't know Dry um if you didn't know, King Boo is my favorite Mario character of all time, Waluigi being my second favorite. And it's a shame that King Boo was taken out, as well as the other four characters, but who knows. Also, wow! Holy shit. I can tell the difference between this and, and the, the one we just drove. I forgot the name already. Um, like, seriously, this has better acceleration. Okay, yep, this is probably my favorite one so far, out of the three vehicles. And it also looks the coolest. So yeah, I guess the Silver Arrow is my favorite. That should tell you something. Um, but yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, crap. It, I just got distracted by the vehicle, so I forgot what I was gonna say. I think. Oh, yeah. In terms of DLC, something I would like to see are two things. One, I would like. Well, actually, three things. I guess. One, I want the five characters that were taken out in this game to come back. Though I guess I just already made that point. Two. I would actually like other Nintendo characters. For example, I think it would be really cool to have Kirby in this. You know, Kirby writing the Warp Star, especially for that Smash Brothers trailer we had with Rosalina's debut. I think it would be really cool to actually see Kirby in this game. Maybe a vehicle could be the Warp Star. Something else I, 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 that I think that could work is maybe we can have Captain Falcon in this game. I mean, we are getting the Blue Falcon. I think it would be cool to have Captain Falcon in this game, don't you think? Other than that, maybe, uh, I'm trying to think of other Nintendo characters. I really can't think of any other Nintendo characters I could think of. I mean, those two are, like, the first that come to mind. I mean, I would want to stick to cartoony characters, because I think that would work best. Maybe another Zelda character, so, like, maybe Zelda would work. I really wouldn't know. But, either way, I still think it's cool that we're getting DLC. Other, another DLC I would like to see is the Battle Mode DLC. Because as you know, um, they kind of messed up on um, Balloon Battle and just the Battle Mode in general in this game. I would like to see the DLC with actually customizable courses. Because, you know, 
I never really was into balloon battle. I mean, I liked it, but I was never. I always played the races. But the new balloon battle definitely doesn't help me getting into it more. So it definitely left me disappointed, and I would like to see Nintendo actually fix it. But to be honest, I never really cared about it, so I would love to see the five new characters returning more than them fixing the balloon battle. I know it's a little selfish, but in my personal opinion, that's what I feel like. But either, other than that, I am excited about the two new DLCs, so that's good. And hopefully Nintendo could be more DLC, and they're both good. But yeah, I guess that's my full thoughts, which is kind of bad, because we still have one more card to do. Uh, I'll try to think of something, I guess. But yeah, the uh, Silver Arrow, really good car. I'll probably still stick to the Circuit, circuit Special, because my combination is Waluigi with the Circuit Special, um, um, Cyber Slick Wheels, and the Cloud Glider. But it was still good. Anyways, the last vehicle is a 300 SL Roadster. I'll just do the same for this, because why not? And for the last course, let's do my favorite course in the game, Sunshine Airport. But, yeah. Uh, crap, I kind of ran out of topics. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of expected this entire video to be me talking about the DLC stuff, but it looks like it kind of covered it pretty quickly. So, what better way to do to talk about than the actual race? Um, also, if you, I think I mentioned this before, but I did do a Mario Kart 8 Let's Play, so if, you, if you're coming to this video, if this is like the first video you're seeing of me, which I'm sure, may, I'm sure that's like not none of you, if, if anything, it's probably only like one of you. Um, but if you are new, I did a Let's Play of this game if you want to check it out, I'm also doing other Let's Plays, so yeah, that's a thing. But, whatever. Uh, this card's, hmm... Uh, like I said, this cart out of the three are, is the most balanced, so it's probably the more standard of the three. So, it's pretty good. I do prefer the Silver Arrow the most because it does have the best acceleration, and it seems like I did the best with it. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably still win because this is, like, my course, you know? Like, I pretty much never lose in this course unless something horribly goes wrong. So, I should still do good. But, whatever. We're on the second lap. And, yeah, I hate how I can't talk about anything right now. I have not played Mario Kart 8, well, I have, I have played Mario Kart 8, but I have not actually, you know, done a Mario Kart 8 video in so long, so I'm kind of, you know, out of it right now, because I don't know what to talk about. In my Mario Kart 8 Let's Play, I was talking about the race, but because it was blind, it was actually interesting, because I was always losing and stuff. But now that I've played Mario Kart since it came out, I'm pretty much a pro at this game. I mean, not really. I'm sure people could beat me easily. But, like, I'm not losing at all. I mean, I guess the, in the first race I got second place. But that was second place. I still did pretty good. Like, right now I'm in first place. So, there's nothing really to talk about. I mean, I'm not failing or anything. You're not enjoying any fails. It's just me showing up the DLC, which is the point of this episode. But still. Whatever. Though... I am happy that I at least showed, shared my opinion. If you share your opinion on the DLC as I do, in which you don't mind and you would like to see more DLC, as well as the, the inclusion of the five characters that, that that was not included in this game, then I'm actually happy. Leave Actually, comment below and tell me if you agree with it, because I think it would be really cool to see people that actually agree with me. I don't know. I think it's... I do think that Mario Kart needs that. I don't know. Because, you know, King Boo, Dry Bones, Bowser Jr., Diddy Kong, and Birdo, do have big fan bases. Me personally, I love King Boo. And it is a shame that they got taken out. I know I'm repeating myself right now, but like, I really want them in the game. And I'm still kind of mad at Nintendo for not including them. And when this DLC came out, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of expected those characters to be put in. But they weren't, which really sucks, but what are you gonna do, right? But even without those characters, it's still an amazing game, and I'm still happy that this game exists, and I still think this is the best Mario Kart game. Yes, I said it. This is the best Mario Kart game. I thought about it, and ultimately I think this is better than Mario Kart DS. Mario Kart DS is my second favorite Mario Kart game, in case you didn't know. But yeah, that's about it. That is it for this video. In terms of my other Mario Kart content, uh, I guess I'll see you next time whenever the other two DLCs release. Uh, the first DLC is being released in May. Mm, not May. The first DLC is being released in November. And the second DLC is being released in May, so when those DLCs come out, I will do them. Hopefully, if I buy them, which most likely I will. But other than that, that'll be it for this video. 
So uh, with that, I've been Jeremy Techno, and I'll see you guys, I guess, in my current Let's Play, which is New Super Mario Bros. U. So yeah, until then, see you guys then.